still be, and that's that by brother. And then put on, you know, the little clump underneath there with Joe, you know, what you're trying to do, and, you know. That sounds good to me, Carl. You know, we, we, need, we need to get creative. Uh, done. I, I, I want, you know, we need to get creative. I'm a blank sheet. You can write on me. Oh, no problem. People need to see this, man. We need to. We need to get a uh, mm. like a, a short. Uh, I got. I have one up there. Intro. You want to see it? Uh, we, well, I thought we were going to eat. We can eat. Yeah, we want to eat. We'll come back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't care. Let me turn this light off. Wait, wait. Now, you know, guess what? I went down south and got this. I got this over in 1963. So what would this be, 50 years ago? Would that be it? Mm -hmm. Got this in 1963. I lost it. Because I was young. Right, right. You know, they got lost. Yeah. Along with this and this, these two things got right. lost. I was at an antique show. 20 years later, I saw this in an antique show. Mm. And I asked the guy what they were. He said the slave shackles, because he really didn't know. I knew what it was. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, he says, uh, mm. I said, I want $800 for it. If I buy it, can I get it? So and so. He said, Oh, I'll go I said, Yeah, get it to the house. I said, Look, I get through paying for it. Send it to me because I was at a show. Right. He said it to me. This belonged to me in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Now, what I had done when I got down south, I got the trunk out of this spot. Yeah. On this house right here. Yeah. Drug it out on the porch. Broke the lock. Opened it, found uniforms, everything else in there. Stuff he didn't want me to see. He told me that, that never buy this truck. Mm -hmm. So when he died in 109, I went down. Five or six years later, I went down and got this stuff out. All I got was this. Now, Aunt Mitty, who was his granddaughter, took the trunk, either put it back in the house or took it and put it in their house. Mm -hmm. The trunk stayed there. Now, I never thought about it no more. I get a call from a lady in Princeton, New Jersey that tells me that her mother is in a rest home and she has an old trunk that's made by slaves that she wants to donate to the museum. Okay, so I jump on my ride and I go up there, go to the house, and they take the trunk out and put it in the car. And I start looking at the trunk. I'm looking at this trunk, and I said, I've seen this trunk before. Because I broke the lock on it. I said, I'll just be there. The trunk that he had in that house was in Princeton, New Jersey. The lady said, some people from down south moved up there with it. They had it with them. Mm -hmm. She said, and they gave it to my mother. Right. Because they either left the house or they, they moved on. When they moved on, the trunk stuck there. Yeah. The lady gave the trunk to me. That's the same trunk I got this stuff out of. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Yeah. The same trunk. I broke this. I, I, I broke this. Right. I broke that. Right. See? I broke that out. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Is that amazing? That tell me Joe Rags thing's gonna break your way. More ways than one. Yeah, they made they made the trunk. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? It just 
something? Full circle. There's something about it. Yeah, sure. This thing was made in 1800. And it still has a smell in it about fire. A little smoke than a fire made. So it has an old smell. Right. Just right. an old, old smell. We don't let nobody right. touch it. <coughs> we don't let nobody touch it. Mm. It's amazing. It is. My wife said, get that thing out here and let people see us. Oh, please. That's peace. Jill. Ready, baby boy? So yeah, I, I fixed the roof all the way over there. Has a hole up here. I can't find. I just I can't find it. I know it's there. Yeah. So I'll be back up there tomorrow, looking for that hole. Mm. On the roof. Oh yeah, seriously. Yeah. 